Hey, it's me, it's me, it's Brandon T here with the Painting with Matt Show, and today I'm going to get monkey faced on it, and let's do another fun painting project. Right now, I'm going to be using the primary colors today, plus white, and so those colors will go across the screen for you, just like I have on my palette. So what I have here is a 16 by 20 canvas that I normally use, and I have put Amazing White on there, and Amazing White is my signature white oil-based medium that you can find at Brandon Thomas Art Supply. Uh, and the brushes I'll be using are my signature brushes that you can get also at BrettThomasArtSupply.com. Links will be in the description to all my painting supplies. So if you want to support us and if you want to get some painting supplies and get monkey faced on it, you can join in with us. Alrighty, so let's get started. Then. Let's take some blue. And this is Prussian blue. There we go, just a little bit. Okay, let's go right up here. And we'll use an X stroke on the canvas. Okay, good. And we're just using an X stroke today, just a little X stroke. Okay, right. let's put a little bit of water in the sky, and a little bit of water as well in the painting. Get monkey faced on it, get in there, get some blue in there. Okay, right now it don't matter, guys, it don't matter. Just get something going, and that way you can get in here and get at it. Put a little more blue right there. There we go. Let's put in my blue. Okay, I'm gonna take another two inch brush, clean and dry, and it's gonna blend it up. I think it's a brand new brush. And then we'll start from the top and blend it down. There we go. Just a little bit like that. Okay, let's take a one inch brush. Yes. Okay, let's go into some titanium white with a one inch landscape brush. Okay, there we go. Just a little, little dog paw on it. Let's go up here now. Let's go up here and just put us a cloud in the sky. These are so easy to do with these one inch brushes. A beautiful, beautiful cloud. There we go. Just get them on. It's a simple, easy way to do it. Okay, a little bit more. Now we'll blend out the base. We're going to use a soft, soft stroke. And softly blend it up. Okay. Okay, very gently blend it up. Okay. Then I'll put another little cloud in here using the same one inch landscape brush. And we'll just tap in on him just like right there okay I get a lot of questions from a lot of beginners about painting clouds and this is one of the simpler ways to do it that's how I teach some of my students to do it in classes when they're just having just a little bit of trouble with it you see I picked up a little blue but I'm gonna blend it right back in there with it and soften it down and then blend it just a little bit Okay. No. Soften it up. Alrighty. I think we need to do a big old mountain today. And so, give me a palette knife real quick. And let's do this little mountain mixture here. I want to take a little bit of Prussian blue and some red and it's a little bit of yellow. bit more red. Okay, I'll take a little bit of white just to see what I got. And that's a good, good mixture. Okay, and we'll put 
little bitty roll of paint right on the old edge of that old knife. Now we'll just put the mountain in right up here. I'm using a really good amount of pressure on here. You're not going to hurt the canvas. Just really push it in there. Okay, I get a lot of questions on painting mountains. And mountain painting, it takes some time to learn how to do it. you got to learn how to use this knife. So, first thing you need to do is get you a good palette knife. One that you can really put to work without having to worry too much about it. This here palette knife, here shape, is one that's been around for a long time. And so what I've done is I designed this uh, metal that's in this. So I didn't design the shape of it, but I redesigned the metal so it's a little more flexible. And the handle's a little more balanced, okay? Okay, and just wanna scrape it out. So you really want a good knife, though, to be able to do things. You want something that's a little flexible. Okay. And I get a question all the time where to get these knives. You can get them on my website at thebrandthomasartsupply.com. Okay. All right. So once you get that far, we're going to take a one-inch landscape brush and we're going to grab it and just start pulling it out. Okay. Just like that. Okay. okay, there we go. Just nice and pulling it out. Now you gotta make sure when you're designing your mountain that you don't make it come down too, too far. Okay, so right here is as far as I wanted to go on it. And then we're gonna wipe off our pound knife. Every time we go in to do highlights or anything with the knife, you really wanna use a clean knife for this. So. Just wipe it off. See, it's not completely clean, but it's wiped off. There's no heavy paint on there. So we're going to take some titanium wire. We're going to do our basic snow mountain, all right? You want to pull it out really flat and then cut it across and get a roll. Now, here's another way to do it. You can take it like this, lay it flat, and then scrape it in. I've been teaching this method for a little while. For the last, well, since I started teaching, I started teaching this method of scraping on the side because a lot of my beginner students have a hard time loading the paint this way. And if you do it this way, you can load as much as you want. So if you just need a little bit, you just load up a little bit. Okay? Alrighty. So let's go up here and highlight our mountain. Now you want to use no pressure. Okay? No pressure to highlight these mountains. Okay? And you need a decent paint. You don't want something that's completely dried out. If you use something that, that is completely dried out, you're going to be hurting because you're not going to be able to blend that easily off the knife. It's not going to be able to come off the knife smoothly. So you want something that's kind of creamy, but not really soft. Something kind of pasty, kind of like, you know, more like peanut butter kind of texture. Peanut butter is creamy and smooth. It's not dried out and chalky. Alright. Next thing you need is a decent you need a good medium for your for your background. So if you're using a very oily medium for your uh, background, there's a lot of mediums out there that's very oily. It's gonna be hard for you to get this to break for pigment mediums, right? I use uh, amazing light. Okay, so we get this highlighting. You want to see all those breaks in there. Okay, all those good breaks. Okay. Then I'm just wipe the knife off on my paper towel. I'm just going to go over here and just grab it and pull it back in. Okay. This is going to help with the shadows. I 
And at this point, you don't even really have to add any shadow color to it if you don't want to. There's a fun, easy way to do it. You see, you got a little peak right there. And you can just take it and just pull it down. And this will give you that same effect as if you added in a shadow color. Okay. Then we'll take a clean dry, well, it's a little dirty, but the dry, two inch brush. I'm just going to tap it in. Kind of some mist effect. Might even take a little titanium watt with that. And crunch in a few. Just some mist. Okay, so let's do another little peak on here. Let's find another little mountain peak in there. We'll go back to this dark color we mixed up a little ago. And so there's another little mountain right there. So we'll mix up a little bit more of that paint with some black or some Prussian blue, some red. This is Napathar red, and a little bit of yellow with that. And what we're doing here is these two will make a purple and when you put the yellow in here it grays the purple. Okay? And it makes it more like a black tone instead of just straight up purple. That's why that's not completely purple. Okay? And so, when mixing and using primary colors, they're a lot easier than you think it is. Okay? So, we're doing a little program to where I am using the primary colors. And this is a painting project in this program. And so, what I'll have on the website is this painting video and then I have a color chart with this. Okay. Alright. So far so good, right? And so you just learned a little tip there with the primary colors is that blue and you got your red, which we all know will make a purple, but the yellow comes in and it grays it down. All right? So the reason that is is because it's a complementary color to uh, to purple. All right. So a complementary color will gray down the color. So if you need to gray down your blue, you want to use orange. All right. To do that, to gray down uh, green, you want to use a red, or to gray down the red, you want to use a green. So you look at the different colors on your color wheel, and the opposite color across from the color is a complementary color, and it will uh, gray it down. All right, so let's put our another peak in there. And so with a color chart, you'd be able to see the mixtures that I used. But I recommend you get a color color wheel. I'm gonna have a video coming out that's gonna go over more into in depth with this program. That's gonna go over the color wheel. It's gonna go over uh, the, the mixtures and stuff like that. The different mixtures and different mixing techniques, formulations to get certain colors. Okay. Now we're gonna take and wipe off this knife again. We're going to come in here and pull down just a little bit of this. And what it's going to do is it's going to kind of mix some of that color in with the white. And we're getting a shadow color. See? There you go. That easy. Super easy, ain't it? Yeah. Okay. 
And then we'll just come back in here again with this old brush. And just put in another shadow. You may be wondering why I'm wearing a pink hat today. Well, what we're doing is uh, every pink hat that I sell on Brand Time Star Supply, we're donating 100% profit to breast cancer uh, research. And um, all that information is on another video uh, about these pink hats and stuff. Okay. Just want to help out and try to get a do good donation for them. Help out. Alrighty. So let's go back in here and let's mix up a color for some, some stuff to go on on back here. Right? So we're going to take a big chunk of yellow and mix it right into that mountain color. And we're going to get a nice dark green. Okay. Good dark green. Now I'm going to add just a little bit of red to that. Get a dark brown a little bit. And just a little bit of blue. Okay. And I'll take a one inch landscape brush and just tap into the color. Just a little bit. And right here we got a little foothill coming in. That's not easy. We put a little foothill. Okay. Then just give it a little pull up. You want to pull it straight up. If you give it at an angle, the tree's gonna look a little weird. So this is gonna put the little tree tips in there. A little top of the trees. And a million little trees will make her billions and billions of little trees. Okay. Alright. And so we'll just kind of take this brush, this little two inch brush, and just kind of crunch down here. And they're just going to help us soften it and create a little bit more of a mist. And then we'll just take this old knife, get a little white. We'll grab us a little amazing white with that. Okay. So just a little bit. Thing of water lines going on. And we'll just go across just to soften them down. Okay. Now we want some more in there. So I'm going to take a little more blue and red and mix it into that color. I want to make it a little darker. Okay. And here's how you make black. To make black you need brown and blue. All right. So brown and blue makes black or to make a very very dark gray. Usually burnt umber and Prussian blue is the best mixture, the best color formulation for that. Um, so what you do is you would take uh, your your blue, put it down here, okay, right? And we know how to make brown, you know, so we'll take some red and some yellow and then a little blue. Because you gotta make green, right? The blue will mix with the yellow, which will create a green. And then the red will mix with the green and create that brown. So all of a sudden, we got a brown mixture. Look at there. Now look. You got a brown going on. Now we mix this blue with that, and we start getting a nice dark color. Okay, almost a black. You see that color we mixed in there with it? That beautiful gray, beautiful color. So you notice what color you got right there. 
Okay. Primary colors are super fun to, to do. It really is fun. Let's put another little heel or something living in here. Just like that. And we can just, you know, put this into the water. Okay. Uh, let's see here what we want to do next. Let's take some of our new medium. This is the amazing yellow medium. It's already shaked up. There's a little video on this already. I'm going to grab a little bit of that medium. I'm going to tap it off over here on this part of the palette knife. Palette. Okay, and we'll use that to make some grass. Over there. It's easy. This makes it so that many, many beginners out there mix mud very easily. And so with this, it kind of eliminates that. Because the color and the medium's kind of already there for a nice thin paint. So I'm going to add a little more yellow, regular yellow paint to that. You see it made it brighter. There's nothing in there diluting it down, making it less pigmented. You see, there's more brown, or more yellow. So I'll grab a little more yellow medium with the added yellow paint, and it's made it brighter. There we go. Nice, beautiful grass. And then we can just throw some of this into the water. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take some classic clear medium right here. I'm going to use it to thin down my colors. Now, whenever you get this in, uh, when it ships with you, there's a little uh, poppet that ships with those. I don't have any right now with me. But I'm going to thin down this dark color with a liner brush. Yeah, I just want to put a little tree in here. Just kind of throwing something in here. And I just dipped it in there one time. Into the thing. Okay. And so what I'll do now is take some color on the one inch landscape brush on the corner. And then I'll just put in a Tree, right there. There you go. See, that easy. And you can put a little bit more there as well. See, just a few things living back here. I'm just going to grab a little amazing white because I want to change the color dramatically. To give it another kind of tone. You see there's another tree. I can even grab some of this dirty color and put a shadow back there with it. See? Depends how you want to do it. Easy way to do it right there. Then back to some amazing yellow. And some amazing white together. Yeah, let's create another little highlight. See that? Using one little edge of this brush. Okay. 
Then I'll mix a gray by just taking this brush right into this color. We can just add a few little highlights to the trunk. That's super easy to do. Then come back and just highlight underneath it. Now you want to kind of have a shadow on one of those, so let's get some dark color. It'll make it a little more realistic, right? And then you want that tree into the water. You see some color there. And something like that. Yeah, like that. And then we just go across it. And it just kind of throws it into the water. And we'll need a little water line underneath that. And I'll tell you what, though, we got some really awesome paintings coming in right now for the uh, 2017 art contest. That contest is about to uh, be over with. Uh, people are still getting their paintings in. Uh, paintings, uh, the last day you can put your painting for the contest is October 17th. So if you're interested in doing that, you got very little time left. So make sure you get your painting into that if you want to get into this contest. Okay. Yeah, we'll just take some dark paint on the filbert brush. And we'll just throw a few little might even grab a little medium with that. Just wanna throw a few little stones and whatnots in there. rocks but yeah if you're interested in doing the contest it's really fun to do you win a could possibly win a medal there's a video on the YouTube channel about the contest okay so just a few little Dots are there. Let's put this back here. Okay. And some people like to add a bunch of little wire lines and stuff under their rocks. I kind of just smudge a little bit underneath it or two with a knife because you don't want too many wire lines in here okay and now we need to do something to block this in on this side and I need paint so I'll take the rest of this blue chunk of red Touch the yellow. Okay. I'm going to grab a little bit more blue. This painting here is almost finished. Uh, I think it's a pretty wonderful little picture. Uh, anybody who's kind of been following along with this should be able to paint this painting pretty easily. If you have any questions about it or need any help at all, let me know. I'm always here to help you guys. Um, I've, I started this channel to 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 give you 
full painting lessons, okay? I'm here to teach you how I've done it, kind of talk with you throughout the process with it, instead of doing clips and cut-ups and things like that, or trying to sell you a DVD or anything like that. You know, and, I, you know, <laughs> over these years, man, I've been attacked left and right by people because I'm showing you full painting, showing you mixing the colors, uh, trying my best to teach you guys. So I go through it every single day for you. I did it every day. Um, but I'm here for you guys. I'm not going to stop doing that for anybody because I'm here to help you. And I know people out there like watching the videos because we got over right now 22,000 subscribers. I cannot believe that we've reached that. We've almost hit 2 million views on the channel. And it's because of you guys sharing the videos, liking the videos. Uh, you know, without you guys, there would not be any pain with Magic Show. Alrighty. So I want to thank you for all your support, all the likes and comments we get, the subscribers, people sharing the shows. And the rest of you liking and sharing, I mean, you want more of them, and I'm happy to give you more. And also, on my Facebook social media pages, you can always try to get a hold of us there. Uh, sometimes I'm on there, sometimes I have someone else on there if I'm real busy. But most of the time, I get back to people through email and Facebook. Uh, so if you want to like us on Facebook, I have a links in the description. Uh, so you can get a hold of me anytime if you need any help doing stuff like this. I'm always here for you so you can get monkey face with it at home. Alrighty. So let's do it. Let's do a tree. Let's do a big old tree. I'm a monkey face tree. Oh, there we go. We got a big number six fan brush. And got some dark paint. And let's see. We'll put him right there. I tell you what. This old tree's had a hard, hard life. I used to date one of them trees over there. And then another one popped up and took his woman from him. But you know what? I think today he's going to get a new girlfriend. We'll put my little girlfriend in there. We'll make them all of their jealous. Yeah. That's what we'll do. He had to move away. He was right there. He used to sit right there, but you know. Got him a divorce. They had to move away. <laughs> Alright, let's make him strong. He's working out. He's working out. Alright, some more blue, more red, touch of yellow with that, make it dark. Go there. And we say we're gonna give him a little girlfriend too, right? Yeah. I'll put her right there. Alrighty, so now we start fooling around, grab a brush. Yeah, grab a big old brush. Wow, monkey face, get in there. Alrighty, there we go. Let's see here. Let's take a brush and let's get some yellow. Let's grab some yellow out of the tube. Okay. And before we do that, we need to put them a little trunk in here. And put some more there. You see these little details like that really helps. You know? Mm. Okay, and then we'll take this yellow right down here. Yes. And crunch it in there. We'll grab a little amazing yellow. And the crunch brush allows us to get a little more detail. Now, right now, it's not so bright. There's a reason. So, we add 
I can add another layer of highlights to his branches. And here comes her some branches. Give her a few little highlights. Now I'm going to grab a little amazing white to add with that to make it brighter. The amazing yellow will keep it the same and give it that bodiness, that creamy bodiness that amazing white normally gives. Okay, and maybe a little bit more white. We need to be brighter. So more amazing white. Okay, I'm just mixing up a little bit brighter color. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see all this stuff or not, but they're there and a little brighter. And then we'll put some grass in here. This big old brush makes some super soft grass. I'll take some of this yellow medium. Pretty awesome stuff. See, I'm just taking a tip of that brush in the medium, I'm just adding it to the paint. You can see me going in here for this. That. And just to show you what else you can do with this medium, barely touching, you can throw in a few little things. Like that. And then, then. A few little things like this. And then I'll just wash out my brush. I'll grab some of that yellow medium. And I can just kind of throw in some flowers. Okay, don't have all the time here to do a bunch of this because I try to make these as short as possible. But that'll kind of give you the idea and show you a little bit to what you can do with all these things we have available at BrianThomasHeartSupply.com and it shows you the little tips and things okay okay I hope you enjoyed this little video I'm going to go ahead and sign this one Before I go, I see one to do. One more thing. A rock lives right there. Uh, there we go. With a little, with a little highlight. Okay. And then we just set them into the paint. There we go. That looks better. A little touch or two. Okay. Now I'll sign the painting. I'll use some red. I'm not used this color here in a while. Kind of red mixed with some blue there. It's kind of a rose tone. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this little video. 
hope you learned what you can do with some primary colors. You don't have to have every color known to man. You just need the basics. And this will help you out too because painting is expensive, especially oil painting or actually any painting at all. It's an expensive hobby. And I try to make everything we possibly can as affordable as possible so you can get into this. Okay, and with a few simple paints and tools, even without the amazing yellow, we just used yellow. Okay. Okay, there we go. I think that's a pretty fantastic little painting that we did today. Kind of showed you a few different little techniques, some of the same things, but kind of put in a different idea. So I hope you enjoyed this one. This is ready for an art gallery. So is yours. And I'll see you guys real soon.